Juggalos of the world, man. Welcome back to another edition of the Juggalo Show. Yes, we know we're late. We know it. Because the uh, server was crashing because there's millions, and I mean millions, of Juggalos trying to tune in to this very special edition of the Juggalo Show. To my right, to my immediate right, is my silent partner in crime, the one and only DJ Carlito. Yo, what up, Juggalos? Boop, boop. Next to him is, of course, the ever-lovely and luscious Rachelette in the house. What up, guys? And uh, directly across from her is, of course, one of the Don Dottas of Psychopathic Records. And he's got a lot, a lot of stuff to talk about tonight, including, including, check this out, the gaming event that's going down at Gibraltar Trade Center North. It's going down. This is my man, the one and only Jump Steady in the house. What's up? Did you mention uh, KG over here or no? No. <laughs> Directly to your right is my friend with the coolest folks in the world. That's right. A guy who I can only say positive and good things about because he turned me on to a cool-ass group called H2O. True. And uh, with that being said, he also put me in a video game. Actually, two. So that's pretty cool, too. <laughs> He's also my brother. This is the one and only KGZ. KG Kevin Gill from the Kevin Gill Show. What up and happy new year to the whole Juggalo family and all my psychopathic family, man. It's uh, it's all love from KG's coast. All right. Well, Jump Steady, you know what? We're just going to jump into it. Everybody wants to know. Everybody's been hearing about it. Look, before we go any further, I do want to say this. Before we start this whole conversation, the Juggalo March that's going down later on, late summer, check this out, it's not about psychopathic records, it's not about ICP, it's not even about Twisted, what it's about, it's about the juggalos and the injustice that they are being dealt with on a daily basis, and I've seen some posts where people are saying, well, what's the use of even getting together and doing it, well, here's the use, you have to stand up, you have to fight for what you believe in, just like, uh, um, the wonderful people that fought that pipeline. They won, man. They exactly. won. You know, and that's what we have to do. We have to come together for this. Right. You know, like, like I heard uh, some people mention, oh, it's a publicity stunt. That's all it is and all this and that. <laughs> like, like that, a, pu a publicity stunt for who? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like what, what are you talking about? Because, like, ICP, like, you know, psychopathic, like, the whole juggler world has never been accepted by the mainstream and never will. You know what I'm saying? So, like, a, you know, what, a stunt for who? Like, who are we trying to right. appeal to? You know right, what I'm saying? Right. Like, it's not, it's not going to take anybody's career to the next level. It's just, we're trying to, it's a pu uh, pu publicity stunt in order to draw attention to what's been going on to, to the juggler world and to juggalos, you know, just being basically ostracized and, and marked as criminals, you know, just for being a, a juggalo, you know what right. I'm saying? So it's it's trying to raise our voice enough to be heard, you know, and any change that's ever come in, in the entire history of man has been by people standing up. Amen. You know what I'm saying? If you Amen. just sit down and don't do anything and somebody's stepping on your head, they're going to keep stepping on your head because you're not fighting back. You're not taking a stand. You're not doing anything. You're just sitting down. So what? So if you don't do the march, right, what's the option? Nothing? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. Like that? Oh, exactly. that's, that's the plan? Like, okay, we're when, straight. When, when people keep posting, well, it's just stupid, man. Why would we do that? Well, here's the reasons why. Right. The reasons why is... Do you want your brothers and sisters to continuously be treated like shit right. on a daily basis because they represent this hatchet? Right. Is, is, is that really fair? And to those who don't represent this hatchet but are still involved in life in itself, mm -hmm. perhaps maybe someone will come up to you because you have that Bon Jovi t-shirt on and say, you know what, you are no longer welcomed here because you have that Bon Jovi shirt on. Or that Prince tattoo, or whatever it is. Right. It start. It starts with juggalos. You know what I mean? They. It's like if they can get it over on on, uh, in, not enslaving. That's the wrong word. But putting these restrictions and all this harsh shit on the juggalo world. Who's to say the heavy metal world or the death metal world or any underground uh, artistic expression isn't isn't the next to feel it? It's really to me. It's a matter of of human rights. You know what I'm saying? And 
the the thing I see a lot of is two things. One is the well, shit, nothing's been said to me, so fuck this. And it's like, get newsflash. The world is bigger than your perception. I haven't been personally super, super sweated in regards to this matter, but that does not diminish one iota the people who have been super fucking uh, affected hard by this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And the other thing is, the main thing that I see out there, Rob and Rudy, is the, oh, well, some asshole's going to just act dumb at the march, and then we're all going to get beat up by the police. <laughs> How does this help if we all get beat up by the police? And it's like, well, there's some asshole in every sports event. There's some asshole at every concert. There's some asshole on every bus, on every train, at every job, at every school. Do we all just stop living? They build jails inside every fucking baseball stadium to hold all the people that have That's to be true. arrested during every game. That's but true. does that stop a full stadium from attending? Do you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. I mean, yeah. Is that how you live your life? Well, some asshole's going to be there. That sounds like the story of life. You know, <laughs> you know the, the whole thing with a family, right? Like, if, if you consider yourself a part of the juggle of family, real when family. there's real family, right. when there's a family member in trouble, that's like, that's your trouble. You that's know what right, I'm that's right, that's and right. And so, like, when you look at the Juggalo March website and you see all those people being oppressed and being given the bone, and, and even people close to us, like Natalie, yeah. Ring, Natalie Ringo right. yeah. has a story. She got fired and, you know, saying lost right. her job. She got fired you know. from her job. Natalie, yeah. the nicest person right. on the planet. You know what I'm no saying? Doubt. So everybody knows somebody right. that's been affected. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, like the, so... so and, and dare I say, if you say... If you say, as an individual, Rob, or any one of us say, well, it didn't happen to me, so fuck it, then what kind of a family member really are you? Right. That, that's like, just somebody, like, being kind of selfish, right? They're, they're self-centered, and it hasn't happened to you yet. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's it, the main thing. The, it's the, also the old the, adage of, hey, well, when they came for Juggalos, I didn't speak up because whatever. But then by the time they come for you, who's going to speak on your behalf? It's about drawing a line, man. Right. So in, in the beginning, like... And there's a lot of ways to support, too. I've seen some people say, hey, well, I have this status of employment or I'm on this sort of situation. I don't think me attending the march is the best thing I can do for my life personally. Okay, there's a million ways you could support the cause and help the people that are being oppressed. You don't have to literally march to be a huge part of it. You know what I'm saying? There's many ways to support a cause. You know, in the beginning, like, when Juggalos are first labeled a gang, I think everybody was like, oh, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, we're a gang. That's, right. that's dope. Right. Until, the, until the reality of that started setting in. Right, like and the people, repercussions. Yeah, people really started getting the bone because uh, in, the only, in the beginning, the only ones to stand up to that was, was psychopathic. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to toot our own horn or whatever. But, like, we hired lawyers, and we were spending a shit ton of money oh, yeah. to go into court before the ACLU to, took over, you know right. what I'm saying? And they're, they're, like, whatever, free of charge. But before they took over, we were, like, pipelining fucking tons of money to right. fight this, you know what I'm saying? Because we were looking at it like, this is terrible, what's happening, like, people being oppressed, like, our family, you know what I'm right. saying? Everything that we're trying to do, it's, like, being oppressed, you know what I'm saying? So definitely, like, ICP was leading the charge and all that, you know what I'm saying? Right. And now it's, like, it's it's years later, and people are still, you know what I'm saying? Like, like getting higher charges, getting kicked out of the military, losing their jobs, all that just because they're labeled a juggalo. You know Today in 2017 so, it's right. happening. So, like, if you care about the juggalo family, when you go to the gatherings, you care about those people that you're surrounded with, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you look you look at your brothers and sisters, and you have love for them, right? Like, when you know what I'm saying? Like, we all experience Amen, that. Yeah. It's like, you have to stand up. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, like we've been stressing that. Like, so important. Like, fuck, fuck everything else, man. We're all going to be old and dead at some point. And it's like, what you do now, it's like all a part of your life's work. Like, what yeah, kind of yeah. change, what kind of thing did you do during your lifetime to make a difference? Right. You know what I'm saying? For future drug laws. Right. To, to inspire others, you know right. what I'm saying? And to not lie down. And, That's you know, right. And we keep bringing up the fact that, you know, there, there could be other people, too, like other bands that all oh, this ain't affected me. If they get away with this, they, they, right. can, they, it, it, they can keep doing shit like that. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Put labels on people, fucking people up, whatever they want to do. So it's really taking a stand against the whole corrupt system, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and it's important for everybody to rise up, 
That's so, right. you know, publicity stunt, man, like, that's just, <laughs> that's just so whack, you know, to even, right. to even think that, like, you know what I mean? Oh, this is just all publicity stunt, like, who are we trying to fucking appeal to, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, <laughs> like, right, it's right. so ridiculous, man, like, never has any juggalo band ever been accepted or loved in the mainstream world, like, it just doesn't happen, especially ICP, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just not gonna happen, so, um... I think it's very important, man. The, the, the whole march is a, a, extremely important. So now, you know what I'm saying? Like, like that being said, you know what I'm saying? Like, we have... Well, 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 well okay, first off, uh, um, we invite you, in case you haven't seen yourself, to go over to uh, JuggaloMarch.com. Go check it out. See all of the uh, flavor that's on there. See all the testimonies, real-life testimonies, of Juggalos who have been treated like shit through and throughout, and these are real-life testimonies that can be looked up and have been researched, right. so it's not no bullshit on here. Also, we have, the, uh, of course, the invites of the uh, artists that we invited, and um, we also have the uh, declines as well as the uh, acceptance, and looking at the acceptance sheet is just awesome, man. Two Live Crew, uh, Young Light, you got your, um, uh, ABK, ICP, of course, Big Hoodoo, Blase Rose, I'm looking at uh, Wolf Pack, of course, Kissing Candice, Vanilla Ice, man, multi-platinum Vanilla Ice was like, man, I got to stand up, I got to stand up with my juggalo brothers and sisters. Right, I gotta he's got to do this. TV shows, he's right. got major endorsement deals, he's got the most to lose, arguably, out of anyone on the entire list, and he's the first motherfucker among the first to step up and say, hell fucking yes. Amen what does to that, that say about what kind of person he never uh, forgot Bob the juggalos. Wiggle, Wiggle right. is, vanilla ice, you know what that's I mean? right, that's right. Uh, Kung Fu Vampire, he's coming. Scum is coming. Liquid Assassins, Buckshot, Necro. I mean, uh, Project Born, uh, uh, Zug Island, man. Look, these are just the, the acceptances in one week. Right. This doesn't tell all of them. Now there have been some declines. Yeah, so... And we can so, touch about that. Yeah, so basically, um, basically, Twisted posted that they're not going to be at the march. You know what I'm saying? And I know it's it's been causing a lot of controversy because... Well, they put a lot of time into the, the announcement, I feel like. Right, and, and it's like, yeah, we're not going to be at the march. Like, no explanation. Like, just flat out, that's just the way it is. And our whole label stands as a family. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, when I heard that, like, my, my first... Honestly, my first response to that was, okay, MNE stands as a family, but what about the Juggalo family? You know what I'm right. saying? You don't stand for them? Right. That, was the, that, was the, that was the first thing that popped in my head when I read that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not going off any social media or none of that shit. I was just like, wow, you know what I'm saying? How are they going to do that? And without any kind of explanation. Well, what fucked, what fucked me up is on the bottom where it says, but we will see you in Florida. Right. So we'll Florida... Right, that's, Get, getting that's paid on a show to go to this one for the for just the cause right. does that make I, I don't get it I don't understand it right so 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 basically uh, you know it sent a shockwave like through the juggler world because it was like okay do they have a, like is there a problem you know what I'm saying like why and and why would if, they, if, if the problem was with doing the event for some reason like if the problem lied with us. Why are they still doing a juggalo day? You know what I'm right, saying? Yeah. And, and you know what I mean? And without any explanation, it's just like, you know, it's just left flat. So it's like, whoa, what's going on there, right? So it shocked us too. And again, we're just stating opinions here. You know what I'm saying? And we're not trying to, I'm not trying to start a war. You no, know what I'm saying? No. We're not, that's not the attention. That's not the the attempt. intention of this, but it has to be addressed. Like you can't, you can't just ignore it. Right. You know what I'm yeah. The you giant can't, elephant in the you, room. You can't just yep. act like nothing happened and just move on. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? So, yeah. When they when they posted that, like, it, you know, it took me way back to when Twisted first left. Okay. When they first left the label, like we were trying really hard to keep things together. Like we were we were trying to negotiate with them. Like we we offered them everything to like. Look, y'all stay on the label. Uh, you can have everything. Like, you know what I'm saying? We're not going to take any cut of none of your stuff. Just just rep the hatchet, man. Run your own stuff however you want it. Just rep the hatchet, man, because we were... Kind of like ABK's doing. We were thinking, yeah. right, we were thinking about the impact of, you know, what that's going to have on the juggalo world. Like, on the family, that's, yeah. That's what we were thinking about. Because, you're, you're splitting up the family is what because, it is. You know, and, and you talk about, like, psychopathic, you know, we've been hollering psychopathic family for so many years and, like, hyping it up. And then and then for all that, just to 
you know, go away because of the separation. We knew that would devastate the juggalo world, and it did. You know, what I'm saying it caused the, mm-hmm. it, it caused a lot of rift and everything like that. Um, so, you know, we we basically tried to work it out, and then they said no. You know, what I'm saying and and when it happened, we were like, all right, this sucks, but let, you know, let's try to get through it. And I swear. There was no hatred, like, fuck those guys. It was like, right. okay, why did this happen? You know what I'm saying? Right. And we started to take a look at inside of ourselves, and, you know, and we did. You know, we admitted to this before that we made mistakes. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Uh, one of the biggest mistakes was when their Abominations album dropped, we had a guy working for us. I'm not going to mention his name, but he didn't. He, his whole thing was to, you know, put the albums together and to order the, the right amount that was needed, and he didn't order enough, and they sold out. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And, and that was the, the straw that broke the camel's back for them. Like, right. That was like the trigger point where, you know, I mean, I'm sure it was more than that. Sure. But they were like, oh, that was the build up. Yeah. Like, Fuck it. Broke the yeah, we're, we're out of here. You right. know what I'm saying? So then it was like all this tension, right? It was all this tension. Like that first gathering in 2013 when, uh, you know, we basically had to fucking <laughs> plead with them to play. You know what I'm saying? Because like, we were like, okay, you're not in the fit, you know, you're not a part psychopathic anymore but can you do the do the gathering you know for the for the juggalos yeah and it, it was actually uh and a lot of ninjas don't know this but it was a struggle to get them to come through like we oh. had we had to offer them they they were getting like they were getting paid way more than icp that year just to come in because right. we wanted we didn't want them to be separated like that we were like just come in and do the gathering and you know everything would be cool so then um you know throughout then after that everything was cool you know what i'm saying and then you know, it was kind of like this, you know, wave of like tension and not tension, and you know what I'm saying. And, and we're we're a roller coaster, right? And then they started showing love for a short time. You know what I'm saying? They came and did the juggle a day, like surprise appearance. And and uh, to their credit, like the last gathering, even the last gathering, like they um, they came in and, and performed on the on the chief just for, to show love. You know what I'm saying? So it was like okay, everything's looking good. The dark lotus, everything was going on, but. Throughout it all, like, they kept taking jabs at us, you know what I'm saying? And it, it was like, you know, like, we kept hearing for years, we kept hearing from Juggalos, man, I came through with the Hatchet Man at their meet and greet, and they started dogging me, like, why are you wearing that, do 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 and, and not just from Twisted, their whole camp, you right, know what I'm saying? Right. It's like anybody that was wearing any kind of Hatchet gear at their concerts, you know, uh, the, you know, ICP gear, whatever, they were, like, dogging them. Meantime, we're, like, cool with everybody right. come through wearing twisted and went mad love you know what i'm saying like it's it's like a matter of uh, a totally matter of different perspective on how they're viewing things like you know to what we're viewing things right, you know right, what i'm saying right. and and we don't sit around up here like hating on them or thinking about beating them it's like all we're doing as a label is okay how can we keep the family together to keep things cool you right, know what i'm saying right. So, like, um... Hence, Juggalo Day in right, Florida. Right, Getting exactly. everybody together. And it's always, it's always us reaching out to them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not one time did they ever reach out to us, like, hey, what do you think about doing this? Like, the mm-hmm. Wizard of the Hood, the Juggalo Day, the, the gatherings, like, everything right. is us reaching out to them. Like, hey, can we do this? You know what I'm saying? So that, that hurt a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because there's, like, this long history... Of, of, of us, like, with them, like, you know what I'm saying, like, we took them from House of Crazies, you know, Psychopathic, I'm talking way back in the day, and, oh, yeah. and we put them on, okay, now we're talking years ago, so yeah. maybe, maybe it could be like, that was like, so long ago, that doesn't even matter anymore, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> but, but it does matter, you're talking about, man, Joe and Joey, they put them on so hard, and, and just like any group we ever put out, with probably the, probably the exception of Project Born. I don't think Project Born was hated on, but any group after that, and I don't think Misery was hated on either, actually, no. now I'm thinking about it. Any group after that, like, basically was hated on. Yeah. And, and Twisted was hated on when they first started, you know what I'm saying? But but Joe kept bringing them on every radio station in the music videos. Man, we couldn't do like, nothing without yeah, bringing them along. Like Joe believed in them <clears throat> so much. He yes. was like, no, they're going to... They're yes. going to go, you know Howard what I'm saying? Howard Stern's everything, yeah. yeah. And I remember I remember being on tour with uh, Twisted way back in the day, and, like, people, like, in our camp, you know, including me, we're still looking at them like House of Crazies, like, you know, they're, they're, this isn't real, this isn't going to last. And I remember Joe 
pulled us all together, sat us down at a restaurant, I think it was a Waffle House, and we basically told us, he said, look, man, these guys are here to stay, these guys are real, and you all need to start treating them like artists, the artists they are. And it was all of a sudden, everybody was like, oh, shit, you know what I'm saying? And we, right. and we did. The new you know, respect, yeah. We turned around, so... I remember that conversation. Every artist that came out of here, you know what I'm saying? This is like, you can look at it like that, a stepping stone or whatever, but... You know, they should never lose focus of that fact. You know what I'm saying? It's it's just like, you know, you can, like, be bitter in the end. Like, oh, y'all weren't doing enough for me, or I don't want to be number two anymore. Like, I want to go do my thing. You know what I'm saying? The truth of psychopathic is that there is no, you know, you're signed to a five-contract deal. Fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Every artist we deal with, they can leave at any time. Mm -hmm. well, if you have a problem... Just leave. You know, it's that simple. And that's what Twisted did. You know, eventually it got to the point where they were like, you know, because they, they were hollering Hatchet for Life, you know what I'm saying, their, right. their whole career. And then it got to the point where they're like, okay, well, let's do it on our own. You know, right. so we're going to do it on our own. And when they did that, we were devastated because, you know, just like any juggalo, you know, it, it was devastated at that time. It's like your parents breaking up type shit, right? Yeah. But in the end, it was like, cool, they're doing their own thing. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and on top of that, I thought they were mad smart because it was just Twisted and Blaze. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I was like, man, those guys are so smart because they can focus all their energy and all their people on just building their band. You know right. what I'm saying? Building their group. You know what I'm saying? But then, bam, they started signing people. You know what I mean? Um, but, yeah, throughout the years, we kept hearing all these stories about them, like, dogging on Juggalos for this and that. And it hurt. You know what I mean? Because we're like... Man, we, you know, we ain't even sweating you like that. You know what I mean? If you look at the at the Juggalo card in Into the Echo Side, I even got Twisted Swag on their fucking, you know, like I told Tom uh, Wood, like, yeah, put some, you know, Twisted Swag on there so they're represented because that's what Juggalos wear. You right, know? right. Juggalos are like about Juggalo bands, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. Mm -hmm. So think about that for a minute. They're telling Juggalos to take that shit off, and I'm immortalizing their merch on the card game. You know what I mean? It's right. like it's like the exact opposite. It's like we're showing them love, like, hey, you know what I'm saying? You want to be a part of this? Do, do, do. And, and at the same time, we keep hearing these stories. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And, and I know they're true. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you hear it enough times, you're like, okay, this is definitely true. Right, you know right, right, right. So From different individuals all over. So many. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I, I know that that's what they're like. You know what I'm saying? They're just like, for whatever reason, it's like, they're bitter, you know, they don't want to see that, you know what I'm saying, they're, they're, they're like real proud, you know what I'm saying, yeah. um, so anyway, the point I was trying to make is that, yeah, you can leave a label, but in my opinion, you always got to respect what psychopathic has done for you, you know what I'm saying, and because of that, you can leave, but don't, more than that, respect the jugglers, damn it, yeah, but don't, like, you know, constantly at be attacking and taking jabs and you know what I'm saying so then then they you know they like sign in boondocks you know that was like again like a, a you know it was like okay well you, you know they signed boondocks you know what I'm saying so it was a hard pill to swallow but it was like okay straight you know boondocks wasn't happy he left and again think about that most record labels, you know, you sign a deal, you're, like, with them for, like, six albums. Like, Whether you like it or like, not. Like, fuck you if you try to leave. You know, not only are we letting ninjas leave, but here's all your shit, too. If you want your website, you know what I'm saying, whatever you, whatever you need. Like, Twisted, we gave them, they, 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 when they first left, they were Twisted, official Twisted or dot .com or whatever. And when I noticed that, I was like, you know, I called up Paul, you know, and I was like, or I called up George, and I was like, hey, just take Twisted.com, you can have the website, you know what I mean? Like, right. like they, it was almost like they're all defensive, like, ready to go to war, and we're like, we're it's poor, yours, man, man. <laughs> like, just, get, you know, do your thing. Right. Now, <clears throat> the whole reason we're even having this conversation, honestly, is because of Otis, you know, uh, a.k.a. Young Wicked. And when they signed him, it basically caused the whole... Well, let me, let me, let me stop you real quickly, because yeah. there was one other jab on the New Year's Eve where... Um, uh, one of the tweets was sent out by someone in the camp that said, no longer do you have to be force-fed shit or something like to that. Sure. Look, right. we're not force-feeding nobody nothing over here, man. Right. You so, know? So, yeah, like... All, That's another jab. Yeah. Come all, on. all the, uh, you know, kind of the, 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 you know, the tweets they sent out and stuff, it, a lot of it is very, um, you know, targeted towards psychopathic, like taking jabs or whatever, you know what I'm saying? 
And so, you know, we always, always took the high road. You know what I'm saying? Like, never really speaking out, like, okay, you know, whatever. They're, you know, they're bitter. We get it. You know what I'm saying? Let's just try to move forward. Let's just try to do this thing. Because the gathering, like, we never want to see that end. You know what I'm right. saying? The gathering, we never want to see it end. Like, Juggalo Day, doing stuff with Twisted, it's like, it's like if Twisted and ICP fell out, and Twisted and whatever, MNE and uh, Psychopathic fell out, it would be the end of a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're talking about Psychopathic Riders, you're talking about Wizard of the Hood, you're talking about uh, Dark Lotus, you're talking about, like, the gatherings would be affected, you know what I'm saying? You're talking about, like, everything, you know what I'm saying? And, and it's like, that's not what anybody wanted. Like, we had a talk with George, you know what I'm saying? And when, when the split, probably about, like, I don't know what it was, it was probably, like, six months after the split, and, uh, and I was basically telling him, man, it's a dark fucking path. Like, you go down this one road, and it's like we're at war with each other, you know what I'm saying? And then, and then what is that going to do? Mm-hmm. Like, like uh, are juggalos going to start picking sides, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and I know there's juggalos out there that, you know, for whatever reason, they don't like psychopathic, and they don't like MNE, and it's like, it's just like, it's just like a lot of negativity, you know what I'm saying? This show is very negative, yeah, yeah, and is. I apologize about that, but... When they signed Otis, it was like the final jab, you know what I'm saying? Because Otis basically betrayed us, you know what I'm saying, in, in a really bad way. And a lot of it is personal. Some of it is so personal, I can't even bring it up, like all the stuff that he did. But he betrayed us, and and they knew it because, we, you know, we reached out to them, and then they just go ahead and sign him. And not only do they, they sign him, but they announce him, you know, uh, New Year's Eve or before our big post about, you know, the, the website and all that, yeah. like, like just like a slap in the face, you know. And so there's, like, crossing a line, and there's crossing a line, and they cross the line, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's it, you know, it's just that simple. And it's like, honestly, like, we're talking about this right now, I don't even want to talk about it ever again, like, after, yeah, yeah. after no today. But it was just, to me, like, it was like, oh, okay, now... Now you've done it, you know what I'm saying? Now you're, you know what I mean? It's not just signing our artists, you know what I mean? And, and, and some people are like, hey, you know, all these artists, they're leaving psychopathic because they don't want to be there, and they're going over to Twisted's camp, right? Right, right. Well, Twisted signing people, that's all new, you know what I'm saying? Where, where are those artists going to be 15 years? Are they going to hang around for 15 years like are the artists do at psychopathic? Like, everything changes, you know what I'm saying? At some right. point... They're going to be bitter and leave. You know, it's just yeah. the reality of the business. The new will wear off. Right? It is, it is the reality of the business. And, and artists, I hate to say it, but artists, they, they a lot of times, I mean, you, you read about it, you see it everywhere. Mm-hmm. Like, at some point, it's just a reality. They they feel like they've been slighted or whatever. It's very rare where artists will be with the label for a really long time. And being in the business, every other label, like, I talk to so many artists, they're all complaining about the label. <laughs> I ran a record label for mad years myself, you know what I mean? And uh, I've started, you know, putting out artists who were my best friends, and I wouldn't even want to be around them or talk to them by the end. And this was even on some smaller shit, you know? Like, look, we are not bad people, you know what I'm saying? Like, like people that work up at Psychopathic, if we were, like, all evil and bad and, like, like harassing our artists, you know what I'm saying? Like, like jugglers would know, you know what I'm saying? It's like, like, all we are is a small family trying to, like, put out flavor. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. I stay locked in that office every day. Yes, you do. Just fucking working on shit. Just, and that's that's my only motivation. What can I do for the family? You know what right. I'm saying? Like, how can I make this event fresher? Like, right. like how can we break yeah. even? And wait, wait, I was get, getting ready to say, because I keep seeing all these posts, well, you know, Psychopathic is trying to make money, and this is... Right. Hey, look, if they only knew the millions of dollars that right. have been lost in this building right. alone... Yep. You and fucking, you'd be like, you're still doing this? You know, I, I had a conversation uh, with Billy, you know, the, the CEO, and I was like, how, how are we paying for the march? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, you know what I mean? Because that's like, we're all out of pocket for that. Right, You know what I'm saying? Right. This radio show, we're out of pocket. Right. We're not making any money on this. Like, right. we do so many things. And, and, and again, I'm not trying to... the family. To, you know, I'm not trying no to... No complaining. Like, right. I'm not trying to, like, I'm not trying to toot the horn, but, like, people that think we're just sitting back getting fucking rich, you know what I'm saying? It's just not the case, man. No, it's not. You know, like, and, and it's funny, because, like, like, ninjas, like, like, every once in a while, someone will say something to me, and they're, like, you know, thinking I'm a millionaire, you know what I'm saying? And I'm struggling, 
Right. You know, I'm struggling, you know what I'm saying? Just like anybody else, you know, and, and I put a, a shit ton of work in here and the price is real high. And, right. and, and a lot of us are the same. That's, right. that's what right. we do. Right. So anyway, the whole the whole thing with the march, right? This is my thoughts on the march, and, and this is my honest opinion. The march is very important and it's something that we're we're like, you know, we basically set up, okay, fine. But we're trying to broadcast it like this has nothing to do with ICP. Yeah, we're coming out of pocket for this in a big way, but this is not an ICP event. This is not a psychopathic event. Right. I can tell you we don't give a fuck about, you know, the, the uh, publicity stunt. We don't give a fuck about that. Right. You know what I'm saying? And Twisted not wanting to do it, it was a shock because, like, the, the march... In my eyes, in my in my opinion, it's such a wonderful way to pay back for all those artists out there that have made their career off of juggalos. You know, you know what I'm saying? That their whole career has been built up from that. Yes. So not only not only should Twisted be at the march to support the family, but in my opinion, they should have been paying for half. You know what I'm saying? Like you know what I mean? I'm gonna take no it. Doubt. I'm gonna take it a, even a step further. No doubt. You know what I'm saying? No doubt. Because they owe everything to Juggalos. You know Amen. what I'm saying? Yeah. Everything. You know. Amen. Amen to that. Yeah. So anyway, uh, you know them 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 basically being like, no, we're not doing the march. Uh, mm -hmm. it, you know, it just it, it was just a huge blow. You know, to me personally as a Juggalo. Right. You know what I'm saying? As a Juggalo, and. I don't even know what their intentions are. Like, I don't, you know, they didn't put a statement. I'm sure they're going to put a statement up now, like saying something, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And again, we've always taken the high road, but these two things back to back, it's like they're just, like, they're just prodded. It just seems like they want things to pop off. You know what I'm saying? Like, they want something to happen. Like, like you know, they're, they're restless or something, you know? And I, and I feel like a, a, a lot of times, like, in the, in the juggalo world, I feel like, uh, Others feel that as well. Like, you know, the, the tension is, like, there, you know. Right, right. right. Drama and, fuels fires and, 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 and it's like. And it's unfortunate, but, like, on my end, the way I look at it, it's like you can only be slapped in the face, like, so many times, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So. And, and wait, now, now let's let's go back now to the, uh, the, the Young Wicked thing. Um, a lot of people are saying, well, the reason why they're canceling uh, March is because uh, I mean, look, we're, we're, we're not we're not saying nothing that nobody doesn't know. Because of the Spanish side camp posting all of these videos and whatnot about you know uh, 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 Magic Ninja uh, um, Entertainment. Yeah. And um, look, one thing that I want to make perfectly clear to everybody who's watching this show tonight: Spanish side is not signed to this label. Right. So their opinions are from them themselves. Well, now, you're dealing with family members of Samantha. Right. So now you're talking about apples and oranges, yeah. you see? So now you've got guys who are in the family immediately, and this is their niece we're talking about. And uh, they love her dearly. And uh, so I'm sure they're really pissed off how things went down. Yeah. I'm sure they don't give a fuck about who he signed with. Right. So, um, you know, you know, one of the things I wanted to do on this show is, is tell the story of Young Wicked, like basically what happened. Now, again, my intention, like everybody's opinion is already made up. You That's know what right. I'm saying? Like, like it doesn't really matter. Like, like me sharing the story, it doesn't really matter. Like I'm not trying to persuade you or to not like Young Wicked or something like that because like I feel like no matter what's said it's like it's very personal and nobody can really be affected by it unless you're you're in in our shoes That's type true. thing yeah. uh but I feel like it needs to be said because like the the main thing the main thing that really got to me about Young Wicked is like okay yeah you know he was with my daughter yes it was behind my back for many months you know and and yes he was like playing his fiance and my daughter at the same time. Mm -hmm. Like, everything that went down, like, it's all personal. It just pertained to me. Right. Okay? So, like, I just basically, I was basically like, that's that's how it is. But when he left and joined 
with Twisted. Even then, we were like, okay, let's just like forget about it and not, not look back. Like let's just like let it roll. Like again, trying to take the high road. But then when he started posting his little comments, like basically taking jabs at Psychopathic Records, you know what I'm saying? Like oh, after 15 years, now I can finally uh, provide for my family and all that. Like it was just like again the straw that broke the camel's back, man. This guy is such, like, in my opinion, he's like, and, and, and Otis, he's not an evil person, right? He really isn't. Like, he's just selfish, and he's scared, and, and, and for lack of a better word, he's like a bitch, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just going to be straight out with it, you know what I mean? So when he, when he started taking jabs at Psychopathic, like, let's, let's not, let's get this straight. He was our brother. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, yeah. He was our fucking friend. Right, right, you know right. what I'm saying? For all these years. Yeah. And when Axe Murder Boys first started, they were hated for years. You know what I mean? And we stuck by him. Like, Joe know. Joe kept sticking by him. Now it's going to work. And they were hated because the Axe Murder Boys, they won a contest. They won the, yeah. You know? yeah. So they didn't have any respect. They were like, oh, they just won a contest. You know what I mean? Right. And, and in the beginning, I'm talking about the beginning. I'm not talking about now. In the beginning, they were hated for years. And... And they weren't selling, you know what I'm saying? And it was it was hard, and we, we stuck by them for a long time. Then they left the label because it wasn't working out. There was really no money, and it was a good part, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. They were going off doing their shows and everything, and then they came back, right? You know what I'm saying? And they were and years had passed, so their their skills had, had developed and all that. But you know, you cannot just dismiss that whole history, you know what I mean? And now, and and the 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 thing about it. The main thing about it is is uh, Otis, Young Wicked, hated Twisted. You know what I'm saying? And vice versa. They hated each other. That's why uh -huh. you would never see a track with them, ever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They didn't do a track because they couldn't stand each other. And, and, and Otis actually did a diss on them on a couple of his albums because... Like, back when he used to drink heavily, they, they would just be fucking with him, making fun of him and shit, you right, know what I'm saying? Right. Like, 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 and, and the fact that, you know, we knew, like, all the way up until he left, he hated them, you right. know what I'm saying? And then, as soon as shit hit the fan, you know what I'm saying, all of a sudden, and, and we never kicked Otis off the label. Never. Never. Nope. We did not kick, he left. Yes. You know, because he couldn't look anybody in the eye anymore. Right. You know what I'm saying? And he knows it. Whatever he says now, from now on... He sent me an apology, like he realized, you know, he's fully explaining how he fucked up, and he apologized, and he betrayed everybody, you know what I'm saying? And he goes and do, does a show with them, and I guess he talked to whoever, and all of a sudden now he's wearing the MNE gear, you know what I'm saying, like the next day. like, And then now he's talking shit about psychopathic, you know what I'm saying? Right. Joe, Joe put his whole family up in his house free of rent for a year, you know what I'm saying? He was constantly living here for free, free of rent, you know what I'm saying? And, and like, you know, like, that's what got me. Like, we were all willing to take the high road, but when Otis Young Wicked started talking shit, it's like, man, and I know why he did it, and, and this is so true, you know what I'm saying? Because when he went over to twist his label, yes. you know, basically um, he was catching some flack. You know, like jugglos, of course, some are like, oh, dope, you know, you're on, you're over there. But other jugglos were like, that's fucked up. Why you, why you jump ship? Like, why right, you do that? Right. And he was catching heat. Right. So the bitch that he is, he basically, to save face, he started painting psychopathic like we're the worst thing ever. Oh, I couldn't provide for my family for 15 years. Think about that. Like, really, dude? You know what I'm saying? If you couldn't provide for your family for 15 years, yes, then, well, why would you stick around? Right, exactly. <laughs> what the fuck? Right, you know, so either way you look at it, it's it's a bitch-ass fucking move. You know what I'm saying? Because even if that was the case, so you st stood by us for 15 years and couldn't provide for your family? Like, you would have thrown them all away just so you can be a musician? Right. You know, a rapper? Like, that's really what you did? Like, either way you look at it, it's a bitch move. Or it's a complete lie. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's a complete lie, and basically he's just, like, trying to save face. You know what I'm saying? And that's the reality of it, man. And, like, like the whole thing, like, that was just a big slap in the face. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, like, the, the whole story. And again, and again, back to what you were saying about how uh, um, uh, Joe would co-sign for Twisted on everything, everything, everything. Mm -hmm. 
He did the same thing for Otis. Every interview, yeah. Young Wicked's the next yeah. man. He's a great producer, right. blah, blah, blah. Young Wicked, Young Wicked, Young Wicked. All of a sudden, like, what the fuck? He, is he put him on so hard with the, the um, you know, the, the, the Killjoy Club. He was on the last two, um, you know, Joker's cards. He, we, we were, like, building him up to be, like, the next best thing. And he was our fucking boy, hanging out, going to strip clubs, everything. Like, just hanging out tight as fuck. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to tell me that was all a lie. Right. You know, that was all a front for that t- entire time. Like, it actually inside you is all the seething hate, and now you're straight, and now you're over at m and and everything's good. You know what I'm saying? And, and the thing of it is, like, he knows in his heart. You know, all the shit he talked about Twisted all those years, like, it's got to be uncomfortable over mm-hmm. there. You know what I'm saying? And, and Twisted to him, too, they couldn't stand him either. But yet they're, they're joined. It's like they joined forces just to, because now they have a commonality. And he had nowhere else to go because even though we kept him on the label, he basically was saying that, like, because of everything, the, 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 the lies, you know what I'm saying, and everything and how it went down, that... He couldn't face us in the eye anymore because right. we told him. I called him up and I said, "Look, man, like you know, my daughter's pregnant too. You know, what I'm saying with with his child, right? So when I called him up, this is this is two days before he appeared in the M&E gear. I called him up and I said, "Look, man, I said, you know, like we need to work this out. Like you know, you got a baby on the way and everything like that. And I feel like at some time, at some point in the future." Everything can be cool with us, you know what I'm saying? And we can basically, you know, you could be coming and hanging out and, you know, birthday parties and everything, and we can be civil, you know. But I said, I said, how you conduct yourself from this moment on is what really matters, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, and I could tell you the whole story, but, uh, you know, basically in a nutshell, you know, basically in a nutshell, this is what happened. He was here, um, you know, he brought his, uh, my daughter was uh, taking a trip, right? And she has an apartment. She was going to be gone out of the apartment for two months. So she was like, she needed to rent it out. So he didn't have a place. So I was like, hey, you want to, you know, you want to rent out Samantha's place? And he was like, yes. And he rent, rented it out uh, because he wanted to fly in his fiance and her daughter, you know what I'm saying, and to stay with them for two months so they could find a place. So then they came in, got their place, and... You know, Samantha went off to California, and they were staying there all the way up until she, you know, Samantha had to come back. And for whatever reason, he never found an apartment. So his fiance went back back to uh, Colorado. Yeah. Then Samantha and him, you know, started, like, because they were interacting because the whole apartment thing started, like, sending texts to each other. One thing led to another. All of a sudden, now they're kicking it, right? So Samantha approached me about it because they went on a few dates, and she approached me about it. And basically was like, hey, you know, like, you know, I like Otis, you know what I'm saying? And like, you know, you know, we have feelings for each other. And I said, I said, man, Samantha, I said, what about his fiance? You know what I'm saying? You know, what about that? You know what I'm saying? And, 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 you know, she was saying that he was saying now that it was complicated. Now, I was carpooling him through, throughout those two months. And all he did was tell me how much he loved her. You know, mm. she saved him like he was an alcoholic and she like saved his life. And then uh, he just wants to be with her and their, and their daughter. But as soon as he starts kicking with Samantha, he just threw that all away. You know what I'm saying? He just like, and, and, and so Samantha approached me with it. I said, man, that's crazy stale, Samantha, that, you know, he, you guys went on dates and didn't even tell me, like, you know, behind my back. You know what I'm saying? It's not respectful. Like, I work with this guy. This is like somebody that I chill with, that I lived with even. Right, you know what I'm right, saying? Right. And I was like, for him not to tell me, like to approach me like a man, it's just whack, you know what I'm saying? It's just not what you do, you know? So anyway, she said, all right, I'm going to cut it off. So then Otis came in, like, probably a week later, and, and he was like, yeah, I know Samantha talked to you. I want to talk to you, you know? And we sat down and talked to her, and I said, look, Otis, I don't hate you, you know what I'm saying? For what, you know, you're going on a couple of dates with my daughter. Right. I don't hate you, but it was disrespectful, you know right. what I'm saying? And it's like, I'm someone that demands respect, you know what I mean? You went about it all wrong. And I've been in your shoes. Like, I've, I've been attracted to you know, my, my, uh, friends, you know, sister or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And you always got to, I always did the right thing. You know right. what I'm saying? You always got to approach them first and let, let them know like, Hey, here's my intentions, you know? Right. What I mean? Right. So anyway, at least give them the option. Yeah. And, and then he, he said that basically he's not going to, um, 
you know, he wasn't going to kick it with her no more. It's over. You know, he, he, he fucked up and he's straight, you know. So then we parted ways and then it was basically uh, three months later when I found out they had been kicking it the whole time, like behind my back, you know. And I was mad at my daughter and I was mad at him. And he's playing his fiance back home, which made it even worse. So oh. it's like, you know, and Otis, you know, he's always been someone that sleeps with a lot of girls. You know, that's no secret. You know what I'm saying? Like, and no. so it's just a matter of like, you know, wishing better for your daughter type thing. Yeah. You know what oh, I'm yeah. saying? You knew him outside of like the persona. Yeah. And, and so, yeah, I don't want that for my daughter. You know what I'm saying? Like, sure. this dude's you always never, want the best. He's never going to be faithful. You know what I'm saying? Right. So anyway, uh. So, you know, I basically confronted him, you know what I'm saying? At that moment, I, I went went to the, her apartment, Samantha's apartment, he was basically there. And, you know, I just kind of, like, came in, and he was there. And I basically took the keys back, you know, in a moment of rage. I was, like, really upset. And that, this is where we kind of had a falling out. And I was like, you know, that's it, you know what I'm saying? Like, like uh, you know, l- let me get the keys. And I was like, that's it. And I was like, man, fuck you for fucking everything up. You know, you lied to everybody at the office for like three straight months. You lied to your fiance. You betrayed the fuck out of everybody. And I was like, fuck you for that. Because I knew how much we were pushing him and how much heart we had, yeah. you know, working his shit. I did his uh, Young Wicked Game video. You know what I'm saying? And I, I came up with that idea, like to do a video. And I said, let, let, let's school this. You got to get something out there. And I directed it, you know, on the weekend by myself. Like, you know, doing doing whatever I could. Going above and, and beyond. Yeah, and, and, and carpooling the work every day. Uh, you know, meanwhile, behind my back, it's like, you know, and then and then he goes, like, and sleeps with my daughter. And then the whole time he's like, no, oh, I didn't do anything. Nothing happened. You know, I didn't sleep with her. I didn't sleep with her. And then, bam, all of a sudden she's pregnant. You know? <laughs> now, from there, from there, uh, what now, happened? Now, let's make it clear to all the juggalos. Now, you briefly said it earlier. You were upset with your daughter as well. Sure, yeah. Yeah, no. you, 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 you're not, you're not just dismissing that. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, you, you, you told me how upset you were. You yeah. know. So, then, you know, saying when that happened, when, she, when, when Samantha was pregnant, it was like okay. So then, um, you know, everybody was trying to call Otis because he already bounced out. He was back in Denver chilling with his fiance. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like back chilling with her, mm. and. You know, when she got pregnant, it was like everybody was trying to call him from the family, and he wasn't taking anybody's calls. Like, you know, we're talking about, like, everybody on the New York side of the family, everybody in my family, but it was quite obvious he didn't want anything to do with our family. Right. You know what I'm saying? And from there, he just, he, he totally reversed uh, and, you know, started treating my daughter like shit to the point where she hated him. Like, just trying to cut him off. Like, now you're pregnant, you know what I'm saying? Bam. Right, And right. he kept talking that shit about, you know, he's going to do all this stuff, buy her a car, do all this. He didn't do nothing, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And so, um, in the end, it was just basically, like, the whole family, like, just how he, how he went about it, like, everything he did, it was like the whole family just had no respect for him because he wasn't showing any respect. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I told, I told Samantha that if he would just man up, and, like, take calls and just man up and be like, okay, you know, yeah, this is who I am. I'm, I'm, I'm Otis, you know what I'm saying? And let, so people can even understand who this kid is because he just kind of came in, whirlwind effect, got her pregnant, bounced out, and then just started, you know, disappearing, like trying to disappear out the face, you know? Right, right. Um, and that's how it went down. So the whole thing, it was just like it left a really bitter taste. And through that all, you know, I called him up and tried to work it out. And I said, I said, you can still stay on the, still? you could still stay on the label, you know what I'm saying? Oh. And in time, maybe get your, You're better man than get I your job back, you know what I'm saying? Like you can, you can still be here, right. you know. But you have to start like manning up, you know what I'm saying? You got, you know, you got another baby on the way, you know what I'm saying? Which is his third child, by the way, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, when when and I asked everybody at the label, I said, look, you know, can we? Like, if you guys want him still to stay here, because I understand this is, like, my problem, like, I can leave. You know what I'm saying? I'll work out in my house or whatever. Like, I'll leave. You know what I'm saying? I was willing to do that. Because because I was looking at this as, like, okay, this is really my fucking problem. You know what I'm saying? It's so personal. Sure. Like, dealing with this stale kid. You know what I'm saying? Uh, That you were were even willing to work from home. And and the fact he was playing my daughter and his fiance at the same time. 
You know what I'm saying? Ugh. That's like the worst part. You can be a fucking player, but you're going to be a player of my daughter. Like that. Now it's personal. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. And we're right. fucking family. Like this is a, this is a whole, this psychopathic record is all a family. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So when that went down like that, it was just basically, you know, and I still called him up and was like, we could still somehow work this out. And then all of a sudden he's over at MNE. Okay. He's at MNE now. Okay. Straight, you know, and good riddance. But then he's talking shit on top of every fucking thing else. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's up on Twitter trying to paint us out this, like we're the villains. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Let, let me say this, that, um, and then, you know, again, back to us being family and, and Samantha being family. How do you expect her uncles to react when they hear all of this? And they are on another level over there in New York, man. I'm just you know, saying. you know, like that post right there. It's a lot of lies. Why do you think there's so much anger? Like, let me just let me just put this out. You got Nene, Samantha's uncle, yes. like, and 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 Misery. that whole side of the family on him. You got me, who's like the calmest motherfucker in the world. <laughs> I got, I got, I got two enemies in the world right now, and and Young Wicked is one of them. You know what I'm saying? Like I always take the high road. Like I see the bigger picture. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. But it's you like, always have. yeah, but it's just like he's just fucking up, and he's just making mistakes because he's so dumb. He's so dumb, and he's so selfish, and he's such a bitch at the same time. That's the problem. Is he's not a bad person. Like you know what I'm saying? He's just got all these faults, you know what I'm saying? And all those years, like, he was there, like, he was like a brother, you know what I'm saying? And he told me he considered me like a father figure for him. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? And, and, and yet he's going to, like, he's going to, you know, and, and, and honestly, I swear to you, the only reason that I'm on this radio tonight is him talking shit online, trying to paint psychopathic be in a bad light. It just pisses me off so much. Because you, you've done so much damage, and we were still taking the high road with you. Like, fuck it. We're not going to say shit. Like, fuck it. Right. And you're going to do all that shit, and then you're going to talk shit about psychopathic all we've done for you? Right. You know what I'm saying? The brotherhood, the friendship. Okay, so that's all a lie. Like, everything you've ever said then is a lie. You're talking about lies. You know what I'm saying? You're talking about lies. Right? So the whole 15 years that you were saying you, you were loving it here and, and psychopathic for life, that's all a lie. That, so that, that was a lie then. Actually, right. you were hating it. And we're, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So what kind of it's, lies are going on over at the other company? It's the, it's the only play he had. It's the only play he has to say, oh, well, psychopathic's whack. That's why I left. You know what I'm saying? It's a bitch move. He's basically throwing out all his homies. Yeah. He's just dissing all his fucking yeah. homies to better himself, you know, to make himself look better. Like, it's the ultimate bitch move. You know what I'm saying? No doubt. No doubt. And, and man, I, Otis, you know what I'm saying? Like, like we we had love for you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? And, and to, to see this, it's just so, it, it's hurtful. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's hurtful yeah. seeing you go down like that and how you can just betray all your friends. It's one thing to go to another company, okay, but to rub salt for nothing, for no reason. And I swear to you, everything that happened, you know, I was like, no, let's still take the high road. You know, let's like, let them have them, you know what I'm saying? They'll learn, you know what I'm saying? That they'll, they'll see how it is, you know what I'm saying, with him on their label. You'll, you'll see how it is in the long run. So it's like, let them have it. We are still taking the high road until he started running his mouth. Because that's just the ultimate slap in the face, man. And you're gonna, and, and, and what we're gonna supposed to be silent again, right? You know, right. and 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 I hate to think about this whole incident, like starting a big war or whatever. Because, like, honestly, like twisted, you know, through throughout the years, they've been taking jabs, but they never they showed love too. It was like yeah. jabs and love, jabs and love, you know, that kind of thing. But Otis. Like, them signing him, that's like the ultimate jab. And we were going to still overlook that. But can't overlook Otis. You right. know what I'm saying? And, and his betrayal. Like, Young Wicked is just whack, man. He's just he's just whack. And he betrayed the fuck out of us running his mouth after right. everything we did. Um, Let's run. I, I, I want to show you, like, you know, you know, he was saying something about, you know, he was sleeping on a cot or <laughs> some shit. 
You know, and, and I want to, you know, like, he's basically, he's taking, like, a, like what all those years that we've, you know, worked with him, he's taking moments where, like, you know, he might have been up here sleeping. <laughs> it might have been like, worse, but yeah, right. yeah. Right, and, and I was up here sleeping on my fucking couch, you know, right. like working on the gathering, you know what I'm saying, right along with him, right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, 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 So, but he's taking one moment where he might have came in and been here for a couple weeks where he didn't have a place to stay, but, but you know, it's, like, also his prerogative, because he's always had a place at Joe's house, he's, whenever he came into town, like, because... He only started working on his full time studio engineer like just recent. Like right. you know what I'm saying? Right. Like but when he was in town, we were always putting him up. And like I said, he even uh stayed at uh you know, he even his whole family stayed at Joe's house for a straight year without yeah, said, without yeah. any rent. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like we looked out for that kid. Right. And Joe Joe was like he was like, That's my goal mm-hmm. is to to make you into like so you can have a house for your family like he was like he was so geared up to work this kid to make him the next big thing you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying and he was determined to do that mm-hmm. you know what I mean and I know. just went like like two weeks before he got let go he just got a five dollar an hour raise he, he uh, Joe was making him the diamond hatch man charm like it was all forward you could see like the last progression how we were building him up right you know what I'm saying and it's just like and then he does this, you know what I mean? And then, and then not only that, not only did he do it, but it was how he handled it afterwards. It's the you know being I mean? malicious afterwards, right? Man. You know, it's not, it's you know. Um, and then, and then, and then he also said he was going to stay on the label. And then the two days later, he's in MME gear. Right. Two days later. Right. You know, as a man, he told you, "I'm stick, I'm staying right. here." And I, and this was after the conversation I had with him about, look, man, it's all about how you act from here on out, whether we can still be working with you you know what i'm saying do you personally now that all the, this stuff is going on the way it is rob do you personally think that's the reason why twisted won't do the march i mean it doesn't make much sense because they're still going to do florida I, I i still can't understand what am i missing here um i don't know why twisted won't do won't do the march it's the most important thing in the juggalo world ever right. ever Period. Nothing will ever be this important ever in the juggalo community ever. And I and, and, and look, I'm reaching out to you old school juggalos who ain't been around for a while. You guys paved the way. We need you there. We need everybody there. And when I seen that with my own eyes, that twisted is not coming. Hey, look, between the you know, their label, psychopathic, whatever, man, it's only about the juggalos at this point. And that's the way it should be. Win, lose, or draw, man, you know? Right. If, you, if you don't like somebody over here, if you don't like me, whatever, you don't got to deal with me. But you got to deal with the juggalos because they have made you who the fuck you are in the end. You know, if this whole thing pops off, like, the, you know, like, you know, the, the whole thing, if this pops off, like, in my opinion, it's like, it's just what's too much. The oldest thing, you know what I'm saying, like, Throughout the years, like, twisted, you know, taking the little jazz, but then showing love, too. Like, it was always back and forth, you know, with them. So it was like, we were good, you know. Yeah, yeah. We were good with We got situation. it. We understood. And even with Boondocks, like, signing Boondocks, good with it. You know what I'm saying? Good for them. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Like, we're, we're honestly, man, not sweating them 1%. Like, that's good for them. Like, let's keep it going. Like, it's just more flavor for the juggalo world. You right, know what I'm right. But when they sign Otis, and he's up there running his mouth, after everything he's done to me and my family, you know what I'm saying? It's just the it's just the bottom line, man. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? For me personally, it's like the bottom line. Right. You know what I'm saying? And they cross the line. Right. right. You know what I mean? You ready to take a break, man? Real quick. Yeah. We're gonna take a break. We're gonna come back and uh, we're gonna talk a little bit more about what's happening in the Juggalo world. We'll see you in a few minutes right here on the Juggalo Show. Let me hit those clips. Yeah. Go ahead. All right. Tonight. Fuck yeah, it's gonna come out on Psychopathic Records all day. And he discovered Insane Clown Posse, and that was our influence to be who we are today. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I've been a fan of Psychopathic Records and Insane Clown Posse since I was about 12 years old. So it was a it was an early on thing for me. Um, uh, you know, I was in a I was in a, a 
cover band actually uh, with my father from about the age of nine till twelve, and that's where I got my intro to music. And then at twelve, I discovered Insane Clown Posse, and my musical goals shifted at that point. And the goal was, uh, as, as a youngster, to make it psychopathic. You know, the young dream was to be ICP. You know, it was to, we loved their music so much, we wanted to be part of psychopathic. We wanted to be on that label so. You know, my boy Violent J, he's always given me a place to stay. I've lived in pretty much every house he's had, you know, <laughs> which is something I never thought I'd be able to say as a young juggalo. And then, of course, uh, Violent J and Shaggy Tudo, Joe and Joey of Insane Clown Posse, they have uh, shown me the ropes in way, you know, so many priceless things I've learned from them along the way about how to be a professional, about how to perform um, tips in the studio, tips and videos. I haven't done many music videos, but when I do, uh, ICP are always there. Uh, they help, you know, coach me through scenes, things like that. So, you know, ICP, Kuma, my father, those are, those are probably my main mentors in this, in this music business. You know, Violent J, he's, he's like a big time mentor to me because, uh, I'm with him most of the time working on the ICP projects and, uh, and yeah, he guides me through a lot of stuff in life and in music. Um, and then Violent J asked us to come on tour with him because he knew I had gotten my stuff together. He knew I had been doing better, that I had uh, some sober time. And almost just to uh, hook us up, just because he loves us, he brought us and I'm not going anywhere this time. They'll, they'll have to uh, pry me out the doors because uh, it's going to be psychopathic for life now. You know what I mean? It's and it's psychopathic down to the end, y'all. I mean, uh, look, this, this just doesn't indirectly deal with you. It, de it deals with uh, misery. And uh, hey, why not put him on the phone? Let's 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 let he, him say his piece. All right. Well, let, let, let me uh, let's go to another break real quick. And when we come back, we'll have misery on the line. Yeah. And again, like I, I just want to say, all th all through this, man, everything that's happened, like you know, fucking. Otis is my enemy, but even through all this, I don't hate him. You yeah, know what I'm right. saying? I don't. I don't want to hurt him. Nothing. Right. And, and and on top of that, he's just weak. You know what I'm saying? That's it. You know what I'm saying? He's he's like he's he's like he's a bitch and all that, but he's not. I don't think he's evil. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to paint him out to the evilest person. He's just made a slew. Of dumbass mistakes. Right, yeah. And throwing your entire, all your boys after all these years that put you on, just like dissing them and like, you know, painting us out to be like whack, you know, that's just the, that's just so fucking stale. Like, yeah, you know, yes. and you know, like, Otis, you know in your heart, like you're a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, he knows it in his heart. There's no other way he can. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How can you dispute it? We're going to be right back, Juggalos. We're going to have misery on the line. Stay tuned. Don't go nowhere. Right now, we've got um, a special guest on the line. We've got um, the one and only, my homeboys from over in uh, the Bronx, New York. My brother, the one and only, Misery. Misery, what's up, man? 
Y'all know me, can you hear me? Y'all know me. Name it. <laughs> What's good, Nene? Yeah, Nene. <laughs> okay. Misery out, misery out there having fun. All right, Nene. Tell him turn down his uh his speakers. Yeah, hey, you gotta turn down the radio in the back. Oh, okay. Where your computer? All right, so yeah, we can hear you. So look at. This, hey, what's going on? What's good? Yep. Hey, listen, uh... <laughs> All right, so, <laughs> so listen, <laughs> listen, Nene, okay, so, you know, there was talk, like, what Rudy was talking about earlier about, like, twisted back and out because like possibly because of all the stuff you guys have been talking like target you guys have been targeting uh young wicked like really hard like you know and and i understand it like obviously i'm targeting them too but like you know it's basically like because of what he's done to samantha and our family you know what i'm saying and and and, and the disrespect but like the whole thing with the juggalo march is like all all beasts are squashed you know what i'm saying like that's that's the whole thing that we're trying to say and that's what you know, basically, like, we were talking about it earlier, that, like, you know, anybody that comes down to the, the down on the march, there's not going to be any problems. You know what I'm saying? Can you hear me? Yeah, you got to turn down your computer, homie. Yeah, I got to. I guess we're, I guess we're, like, a little delay or something. I don't. Yeah, don't, 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 don't pay attention to what's online. Just, like, don't, turn that off. Yo, yo. Yeah, so we're talking about, we're talking about the march, right? And, like, nobody's going to be hurt at the march. Like, there's... Yeah, but listen, uh, the whole the whole thing that I'm trying to the whole thing that I'm trying to uh, bring to light is like nobody's trying to hurt anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, if 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 uh, if everybody came down to the march, nobody's gonna be hurting anybody. You know what I'm saying? It's just like our our problem. Right. So you know. Yeah, you know, like, e even, like, even uh, Billy, you know, the, he, he came up to me, like, a, like three days ago, and he asked me, he said, he said, hey, uh, you know, what do you think about inviting Young Wicked to the march? You know what I'm saying? And I said, man, the march supersedes everything. Like, all beefs are squashed at the march, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, invite him. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to confront him. And me, personally, I don't even want to beat him. You know what I'm saying? But he deserves a beat down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> At least one, not life and death. Just slap the rod a little bit. At least the shit smacked out. Yeah, but not at the march, right? That was the whole thing. Right. Yeah. Anyway, so you know the the whole yeah the whole thing with the the whole Otis thing obviously it's gotten everybody including you you know what I'm saying and the family over there and and the Bronx it's gotten everybody really fucking worked up you know what I'm saying and and again because of the lack of respect that's what it came that's what it all comes hey, down to misery it's not only it's not only the lack of respect the psychopathic and everything we've done for him but it's the sight it's a, it's yeah. right. Let, let me ask you, let me ask you, misery, let me ask you this, man, because uh, Young Wicked keeps posting uh, uh, tweets saying that you, um, you reached out to him in the last couple of days, you guys have been talking. I don't reach out to nobody, I don't do social media, I do real life. 
No, no, no. He said that, that you've been texting, you guys been talking and shit, and uh, everything's good. So, so it's, it's so it's another it's another lie that he put out, right? It's another lie that he put out. He's saying it's a lie. It's a lie that he put out. No, no, no. It's a lie that Young Wicked put out. Yeah. So. Yeah. Don't don't worry about it. He basically uh, the the whole thing the whole thing that the reason that you're mad is the same reason that I'm mad is because of Samantha. You know what I'm saying? Like how how grimy he did Samantha, and basically Samantha don't like him anymore. They're not talking. You know what I'm saying? Like like he. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So anyway, that that that's the whole thing. Right. So, so basically, Nene, Nene's kind of standpoint, right, is that, uh, you know, Misery's standpoint is that since they signed him, right, you know what I'm saying? Now the beef is like with all the squad. Like the whole squad is catching it. Green know? light. It's a green light. Uh, yeah. But 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 look, one thing that I I gotta agree with. Uh, Rob, man, you know, all the beef got to not be at the, the march. That's, the march is so much more bigger than anybody. Yeah. All right, well, look, man, uh, whoever thinks that Yeah, so Right. right. You know, and and again like my, my personal beef as as was stated on the show is, is with Otis, you know what I'm saying? Like right. I got he's he's definitely an enemy, you know what I'm saying? I consider him an enemy and that's like that's some strong ass shit because there's only him and another person that I actually consider an enemy on this planet. I hate fucking, me personally, I hate drama. I hate fucking having enemies. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's just like. I've just, never known you to have any. Right. It's just <laughs> whack. Like, I try to I always take the high road. I always right. look the other way. But if you got somebody, like, slapping you in the face, like, over and over and over and over again, it gets to the point where you can't be slapped anymore. You know what I'm saying? You start fighting back. You start getting angry. You know what I'm saying? I agree and, with you. Say you get ready, you got to react, right? Right. But, you know, like, I always try to live life, like, without that. You know, it's so negative. In a lot of ways, it hurts yourself. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It hurts yourself. But at the, at the same time, you can't just sit back and watch this bitch run his mouth. You know what I'm saying? And not fucking say anything. You know what I mean? And that's all. That's... Do with everybody, whatever they're doing, I'm telling you, fuck with my family. That's it. Right. I've been quiet for a long time. I've seen the angels for a long time. You want to say? Anybody. All right, man. All right, peace out. All right, my man. All right, man. Peace. All right, peace. All right, so obviously, like the whole thing, like you know, I don't, I don't wish no harm on anybody. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, this, this whole, this whole record label. But no, like, let's make like, it clear. Like, but we're in the music business. Right. It's fucking hard, man. But but, it's, but, it's, but let's make it clear though, yeah. Rob. Before while we're still on the subject. Look, this has nothing to do with psychopathic. Mm. This has nothing to well, do with... For, yeah, for Nene, it's, it's, right. it's all personal. It, it's personal, man. You know it's saying? personal. And let's also say this. We don't control what Nene does or his crew. 
It has nothing to do with us. So let's make that but, real clear. But as far as like Otis is concerned, like I definitely got their backs. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not, not to the point where someone's getting hurt, but I got their backs because that anger yeah. that Nene feels, that's my anger. Yeah, it's no doubt, no anger. doubt, no doubt. And, and we came to that two separate times, you know what I'm right. saying? It's not like we were talking fucking, you know what I mean? Right. He just, he called me up one day and we just had enough, you know what I'm saying? Right. And I was like, shit, dog, I had enough. You know what oh, I'm saying? Like that. Yeah. Huh? So, and, and uh, you know, that's it, man. That That's the fucking story, man. It's a stale-ass fucking story. And, and uh, like, you know, even to even now, like, you know, there's redemption for anybody. You right. know what I'm saying? Even now there's redemption for Otis. You know what I'm saying? Just shut the fuck up. Right. Stop running your fucking mouth. And stop being a bitch and man up. And fucking do something to support your child. Like to be there and do something and want to be a part of that child's life. But all he's done is make sure that he'll never be a part of that child's life. Mm. You know what I'm saying? How he's been treating my daughter like shit. You know what I'm saying? And then and how he's, he hasn't done anything he said he was going to do support wise. And all he's doing is running his mouth now fucking dissing all his fucking boys that he's had for the last 15 fucking years. Throwing them like just dogging the fuck out of us after all we've done for him. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Fuck right. him, right. man. Right. Like, right. seriously, man. Like, it, it just gets me fucking so mad. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. And, I, and I hate getting like this. I hate fucking... That's not you. I hate losing it because, you know, like, it's just you're only hurting yourself when you get pissed off like this. Absolutely. You know? so it's a lot of letting go. Yeah, yeah. You just got to let it go. Well, you know what? Now, let, let's, let's, let's say this real quickly. We stated this earlier. Look, Juggalos, we're done talking about this. It's not going to happen again. We're not going to... If you see us at a party or you see us at a club or something, please don't come up to us and talk about this subject because it's being laid to rest right now. It is done. The story has been told. And I, I second that. You know, I, and, and for look... Me, for me, like, no matter what happens from here on out, no matter what happens with Otis, like, I'm sure he's going to retaliate and say some shit, try to save face. Like, no matter what happens... Like, you know, <laughs> Chucklos, you got to know, the fact that we're all so worked up, this is all fucking, there's a reason for that. We're not just fucking firing on him for no fucking reason. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and I can't even tell you the whole story. Uh. Like, it's so personal, I can't even bring it out. Uh. You know what I'm saying? But, like, that that's just it, man. There's a reason why there's anger is here. You right. Know? And, and. I will not, I don't give a fuck what Otis says, you know what I'm saying? Because for my own personal peace, I have to let it go. Amen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Thank and you. I hope that when this, fuck, whatever his fucking career he's trying to chase, like when, when that's over, maybe he can come to his senses and maybe fucking 10 years from now, he could be chilling. If he fucking proves himself, again, we could be civil and we could be chilling together at a birthday party with their daughter. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. But all he's doing is trying to fuck that all up. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing that fucking gets me the most. Right. Besides him throwing his friends all in the bus, it's him like not like making sure he can't be a part of that baby's life. Like, it makes no sense to me. Right, right, right. All right, well, we're going to move on. Hey, you know what? This weekend, this Saturday night at the Token Lounge in Detroit, Michigan, well, not in Detroit, but in Westland, Michigan, it is the Juggalo Celebration, 17 in in this piece, you know, and uh, the insane... You, know, well, you, know, you know, Rudy, we, we used to be gangsters. You know, I know, I am. Like, it would have been, been, been handled a whole lot yeah, differently. Yeah, like back when we were young, it would have been like, it would have been just some sniper type shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, hey. I'm not making a threat. I know. I'm not fucking going to do anything to Otis, but back in the day, we would have been wilding out, you know? The, the, all the shit that he's done, it would have yeah. been, been different, you know? It would have. But, you know, we're older now. People know that. Hey.
What are they doing? You know what I'm saying? We're not trying to fucking start a war. We've always taken the high road. But as far as that kid's concerned, man, it's just like, it's just such a, a fucking slap in the face. You know what I mean? At this point. Sure. KG, what was you going to say? I was going to just say, you know, here we are. Obviously, it's the Juggalo show. This show lives on. You know, people see this uh, after it happens. I just wanted to throw out to Rob, I guess, as uh, we're watching the show, people are reacting for it, uh, reacting to it. And one of the people reacting to this broadcast online is uh, Young Wicked. Um, I, uh, I just wanted to get Rob's reaction to this. He has stated that uh, there's been a lot of lies on the show. He's never ignored any family or mistreated her. He and Samantha are, in fact, speaking at this moment, and he can't believe it, and uh, and that he'll always be there for his daughter, uh, and that's never been in question. Right. I'm okay. curious, what, what is your response to that, Rob? You know, the thing with Otis is he's a liar. You know what I'm saying? And he's, talk, he's telling me that I'm a liar. You know what I'm saying? This is a guy that lied behind our back the whole time he was dating my daughter, even when he got caught lying that he never slept with her. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's just like that's all he does is lie. Right. And now lying about how he was getting the bone the whole time he was at psychopathic. Like, that's all fucking lies. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, yeah, my daughter talks to him because they're civil. Right. But she does not like him anymore. She doesn't want to. She, she, she actually told me that she hates him. She's like, do I hate him? I think I hate him. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Wow. And that's where they're well, at. Well, they have but she to talks to him. having a child. She talks to him, yeah, because, you know, they're having a baby together. They got to fucking communicate. Right. That's, the, that's the whack thing about this is he's going to be in her life forever. You know what well, I'm saying? Well, at least for 18 years. Right, exactly. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, like, nothing's going to change that. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's like so far it's all stressed. But look, even now, instead of going on social media talking about how you're a fucking liar. Why not just keep your mouth shut? Right. He, what, what else? You're continuing it? What else is he going to say? You know what I mean? Like, what else? What other defense does he have? That's the only defense he has. You know what I mean? Wow. And Samantha was going to come on this show. Like, wow. she was going to come on the show, but she was like, man, what am I going to say? Like, I, I'm just going to, you know what I mean? And right, I was, right, right. I was like, well, you could back me, but I was like, no, forget it, right. Samantha. Like, you know, right. I don't want to put you in that position, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. But right. she was going to come on the show, too, and just like, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, like, yeah, whatever. Juggalos, man, it, you know, it's time to move on, man. You know, like I said, this well, weekend I'm, we're I'm getting together. You. I'm with you on that, Rudy, that there's no, like, it doesn't matter what he says at this point. It doesn't. It's over. You know, it's over. The, it's know, over. Like, it's almost like an airing out. It needed to be said. Like, I felt like I, it was to the point where I had to speak up. Right. And tell the story. Right. And it needed to be said. And that's it. Right. That's the whole The whole thing is. He fucking left. And he's running his mouth. And he's dissing the fuck out of all his boys. And at the same time, he's being an asshole to my daughter. Who's, who he got pregnant. Who he lied to the whole fucking time about that. You know what I'm saying? He lied to his fiance. He lied to fucking everybody. That's his whole fucking hook is he's just a liar. You know what I'm saying? I'm the fucking liar. Right, right, right. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. So we're all just worked up for nothing. Like, it's yeah. just all out of control. Like, everybody's just worked up for nothing. Man. That's how it goes. I'm sorry. Have, that have, have you like ever that. even seen me like this before? Never. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm in shock right now, to I, be honest. How long have we fucking known you? I, <laughs> You know, we've known each other fuck we we've known each other fucking almost thirty years. And, man. and believe me, it's not just the fact like he was like, Oh, I ne never slept with that. I don't give a fuck. Like that didn't even matter. Right. It's the lying for three months straight, the disrespect. Right. And then the and then continued disrespect to my that then got at least on my daughter, you know what I'm saying? And then you know To the continue lying, it right now. Right. It's just like it, it, it's too big probably to let go, and I'm sure it, it, it's just such a stale subject, and it's too big to let go, yeah. and he's going to fucking say some shit and run his mouth and do whatever, but in the end, it's like, that's what happened, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. In the end, that's what you did, right. you know what I mean? Look at it this way, so you just stood for 15 years getting the ball, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like, who would do that? Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, there's, it's just like, it's, it's just asinine that anybody would even believe that. Right, those videos said otherwise. <laughs> right. Yeah. And the then, whole and then video he's montage. Like, you know, all the way to the end, all the way to the end, super smiles, like, kicking it with 
us. So was that all a lie? Right. Like secretly you're like hating psychopathic and, and all of us, like secretly that whole time you're smiling to our face? Right. No matter how you put it, it's fucking bullshit. Like he's just bullshit. Right. No matter how you put it. Right. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt. No so doubt. in the end, man, like it's so stale. It's so fucking stale. Like to my heart, it's like so fucking whack. You know, you know what I mean? And, and, and it's so whack that it would come down to this. You know what I mean? Like, and, and, and again, it wasn't just one thing. It wasn't just one thing with them. It was ten things all in a row. Just continuing. Stuff you can't even talk about. Disrespecting. Disrespecting and shitting on him. Everybody that fucking worked his shit and brought him up all, all these fucking years. And now he's at MNE and now he's got a whole nother attitude. Like, fuck y'all. Ha ha. I'm fucking over here now. Like, everything's great over here. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. You know what I mean? It's just not fucking fair. It's no. not fucking fair. Right, right. You know what I mean? Yeah, this this has been a tough one for us juggalos. And, but, uh, again, we, Rudy, we're not going to talk about It's Rudy. done. We're done. I'm not going to fucking post any shit. I don't even have fucking <laughs> social media. I'm not going to be running my mouth about Otis on the show ever right, again. Right, right, right. And I realize this changes a lot of things. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I, I realize that. Yeah. Let, let, me, let me say this, that... um uh. You know, whether you like it or not, man, this was actually therapeutic to get it out, man. You, sometimes you got to get that fucking off, that monster off of your chest. And Rob Bruce, I swear, and I tell you juggalos in the world today, I promise you, for the 30 years I've known this man, I've never seen him into that, that upset. And uh, being a father myself, I understand why. I clearly understand why. So you juggalos who are going to get online and you're going to, you're going to post all your, your funny bullshit and everything. Hey, look, this is real life right here we're talking about. And uh, so, you know, I mean, come on, man. Cut a motherfucker some break. Through, right, through, it's personal. Through it all, it was all the, the fucking straw that broke this camel's back is his running his fucking mouth that was it. on social media trying to act like we did him dirty. You know what I'm saying? Man, fuck you for that. Right. Like, fuck you. And I told him that to his fucking face multiple yeah. times when we were, like, basically in the heat of the moment. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, it, like, fuck him, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's just wrong. But, um, again, we got to move on, man, because too much look, energy. Look, man, I, I can't. <laughs> I, I don't want to keep cutting you off, baby. It's okay, brother. It's all right. At the you same do what you got to do, man. I fucking apologize, man. This is one of my lowest moments in my fucking life. Like, it really is. Like, losing this. When I came on the show, I had every intention to be even keel and calm. We had a too long talk about it. In I didn't want to fucking... I wanted to say what I wanted to say, but I didn't want to get mad about it. Right. You know, but it's hard, you know what I'm saying? And and I feel like this is one of my lowest points, man. And, you know, and, and life is like that. It's ups sure. and downs, you know? Sure. And there's fucking assholes that are going to come and go out of your life. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. And there's people who are going to take advantage of you. <clears throat> people are going to shit on you. And that's just life. You know what I'm yeah. saying? This this is a little bit more personal because this guy has a, a, a baby on the way with my daughter. Right. So yeah. it's like, man, you can't even fucking let it go. He's going to be there. Right. Yeah. So yeah. why would you fucking, why would you be running your mouth trying to ruin any, any chance to have a relationship with Samantha's family? Right. You know what right. I'm saying? Just shut the fuck up. Right. You know what I mean? Right. right. That's it. All right, Juggalos. Well, let, real quickly, let's let's uh, real quickly talk about this Saturday night. The whole Hatchet family will be in the house. Ten dollars gets you in, with a hundred percent of the proceeds going to the Michigan Humane Society. This is just a little bit of giving back because the year seventeen, and we're giving back. We're doing a lot of good charitable things. I, I I'm I'm being blessed with one of them myself at the Majestic on February twenty fourth. I'm so thankful for my family here at Psychopathic for doing the Rude Boy Benefit. And then immediately the second night will be the very last time ever, Riddle Box. Back-to-back -back nights here in Detroit. Juggalo uh, uh, Day is coming up. We got so, so much going on. Shout-outs to everybody who's been watching tonight. Shout-outs to my boys 1031 out there. You guys have been blowing me up. We love you guys. Oh, um, Madhouse. They're going to be a part of a show um, directed towards gearing people away from heroin that's coming up in Toledo. We talked about that earlier, Rob. We'll, we'll try to get that fitted in in the next show. But um, uh, 
Much love to you guys. Much love to MBK. Much you love know, to all you guys you know, out one there. La- one last thing, man. Like, Otis, you know, you're out there watching this shit. Like, seriously, man, I know it's at the fucking brink, right? But they're still coming back from this. You go ahead and say your fucking piece, man. Like, seriously, fucking dog it out. Whatever you want to say. Protest. It's all lies. Like, go ahead and put all that shit out. But in the end, like, after that fucking wave, after you've worked out that demon, just like I worked out that demon right now, fucking do the right thing, man. Do the fucking right thing. Just shut the fuck up. Go on with your career. Do your shit over at MNE. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's fucking holding you back or fucking after you. Not on, not over here at Psychopathic. Nobody's right. fucking out to get you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just do your fucking thing and shut the fuck up and move forward. That's all you had to do from the get. You know what I'm saying? And everything would have been straight as far as that goes. Right. You know what I mean? And do right by your fucking daughter, man. Like, yeah. stop making enemies. And, and think about, like, you know, when, when you have, like, fucking uh, royalty, like, marry into each other, like, marry into the family, which is kind of like almost what he did. Right. It's like you're supposed to show mad respect, right? Not only respect yeah. to because it's the family, you know what I'm saying, but respect for all that psychopathic has done for you for, for you. you you know you wouldn't even be an artist if it wasn't for psychopathic like honestly in your fucking heart of hearts you would not be an artist if it wasn't for psychopathic right. you know what i'm saying right. we stood by you all those fucking years when everybody was hating you know what i'm saying would you would you be in the position you're in now if it wasn't for psychopathic That's something to so think about. go ahead fucking work those demons out you know what I'm saying? For the next month. And then shut the fuck up and let's try to heal. You know what I'm saying? For, for the baby's sake, for Samantha's sake, for all of us. You know what I'm saying? Stop stop running your mouth. Do what you got to do. Focus on your career and focus on the positive. And that's it. Amen. You know what I'm saying? And maybe 10 years from now, everything will be great. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, yeah, yeah. you know, again, move forward, man. he's just, yeah, I'm not going to say anything else. All right. Uh, KG, Kevin Gill, man, Kevin Gill Show, check it out, you can hear it on uh, SunCloud, you can hear it all over the place, 100th episode with the Young Guns, uh, uh, yeah, man, I, I'm, I'm all over it, man. Hell yeah, man, it's been blowing up, it's on Audio Boom and Podcast Arena, in addition to iTunes, uh, this week, Chris Hero goes in-depth on all his thoughts of wrestling at the gathering, and is getting his first big break with JCW, and uh, a lot of cool stuff, and we just keep it moving every week, and uh, same thing with keeping it 100 with Conan, and of course, Rudy's favorite website, DignifiedBastard.com, the place where right now you can get KG hoodies, zip-ups, and pullovers at a special sale price, and Rudy, you won't believe this, but they include a free, signed, personalized 8x10. Yeah, I love it, I love it, I love it. KG, thanks, man. Any final words you'd like to say real quickly? Just much love to the the Juggalo Nation. Much love to the world. 2017 is is our year, and let's make the absolute most of it. Rachel, anything you'd like to say? Hopefully the drama can subside now. (laughs) DJ Carlito, you've been running your mouth the whole fucking show. Could you please? Yeah, I just want to send, like, prayers to my brother's family. And, you know, I send healing to you and your family, bro. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm glad you got to get it out. Uh, I want to put it out there. I'm a psychopathic soldier, you know what I'm saying, for life. No matter what, don't get it twisted. You know what I'm saying? You know where DJ Carlito stands. And, uh, yeah, whoop whoop. You know, I just want to end it with saying that, you know, I feel like we're in a pit. And, uh, you know, it's it's like, yeah, I'm ready to fucking forgive and move on. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 you know, I even give Young Wicked that month to fucking trip the fuck out. I give him that. Yeah. And then let's fucking just forgive and fucking move on. Like, you don't have to ever be a part of psychopathic again. You know what I'm saying? Just don't forget everything that we've done for you and the friendship that we had. Don't fucking throw all that away for some cheap move to, to save yourself some cheap heat. You know, because people are, some, some juggalos are dogging on you for jumping ship. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I'm not saying, like, that's just such a, there's probably such a small amount of people that had a problem with that. Right. But just let it go, man. You're right. good. You can continue on and fucking be a success. You're fucking talented. You know what I'm saying? Right. Just shut the fuck up. After this first month, I give them that month. <laughs> and then just, just fucking move on, man. No matter what happens. Because even if all this goes away, the whole record label thing just crumbles and falls apart tomorrow. You know what I mean? 
we still got to deal with each other for the rest of our lives. You know what I'm saying? Amen to that. Yeah. Um, real quickly, uh, you can check. You know, you know and, and, and he's got a he's got a radio show. Or Twisted's got a radio show. If they want to back your play, just go on there and fucking talk all the shit you want. Air it out. Ooh. Get your side of it out. And then fuck more even. Ooh. All right. You know what I'm saying? But in the future, I cannot stress enough. In the future, just fucking just show respect. That's it. Right. You know, if you got anger issues, you know what I'm saying? Just show respect and do what's right Amen. by your family. Absolutely. That's it. Can we just end the show? Absolutely, man. Yeah. We're getting ready to leave right now. Once again, thank you guys for... Uh, uh, in tuning in uh we're not here for a long time we're here for a good time take care of one another we love you god bless you we'll see you saturday night at the token lounge